Yeah. Yes, that's right. Correct. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not a complaint so much as a request for the FM gods. Um, I just, I have more than enough promising strikers. If I could just get maybe one or two other, you know, really quality players coming through in some other positions, that'd be great. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to Yerun on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 7, Episode 11 today. It is a Champions League qualification, six-pointer versus Slavin Belupo. Then it's Oziak, uh, both games in the league, of course. But uh, we've had our, uh, our youth intake, and as we can see, it is pretty spectacular once again. And once again, uh, it's, it just happens every, uh, every year, it seems. We've got an amazing prospect as a striker through. So it's Maxim... Uh, Kranksiak will go with that. Uh, fairly ambitious. He's 15. He's already looks like he's ready for first team football. And uh, he's not quite there, is he? But he, he's very, very good. And uh, yeah, already potentially voted up to 4.7 million as well. Um, we are going to reach a point in the not too distant future where we're going to have... We're going to have to start like selling places because we have too many. It's uh, it's a nice position to be in. Uh, but yeah, it, it just makes life very difficult. And, and I mean, wh where, how do I sign players when we have everybody coming through? Uh, the other player we've got in is another DD. Uh, it is a uh, it is Dion Drena uh, Kovacek. And he is a left back. Now, we could use a, a nice left back coming through. So very pleased with this. Uh, the obvious... The obvious problem is the fact that he's a midget and he has no jumping reach or strength, but he can tackle. He's like a little uh, Alan Wright for uh, people of a certain age at Villa. Uh, he can tackle, he can cross, everything else looks good. Uh, we just need to um, get him on the growth hormones or something, I think. But uh, yeah, again, potentially looks very, very good. Uh, some other players here, we've got a, a, a goalkeeper, not quite, not quite a promising goalkeeper, but you'd imagine that's what he is. Uh, so we've got him coming through. We've got another attacking midfielder here who is a promising player. Look at that first touch of 18. Good technique as well. Passing and uh, vision work great. Hopefully that'll all come along nicely for us and we'll have another good player there. Uh, we've got uh, this guy, the Bosnian. Now, not quite. He's, he's unambitious. He's going to need uh, a little bit of work, some mentoring. But if that all works out okay, there is a decent player here as well. So we'll see what we get with him. Uh, we've got Victor Perso. Uh, another one doesn't have the vision perhaps, but first touch passing technique is uh, is all there. He's fickle personality as well. So uh, we'll see. He's probably one that we'll need to develop and then sell on. But we'll see, you know, again, we don't want to judge players too early on. Uh, Basic, another one of, uh, of the attacking midfielders that we've got in. Obviously not as impressive as some of the others, but uh, we'll see what we get. And then a left-sided wing up that is, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe get a, He's probably not going to make it, is he? So uh, if you are a qualifying Patreon or channel member and you like your look of any of these guys, let me know. We can get them renamed. And uh, if you want to have a player renamed, one of the thank you perks as a Patreon or channel member is uh, to do that. Uh, as links in the description for all that stuff. So that is that. Uh, the other thing that's happened is our training facilities have been upgraded. So we can see here, training facilities are now excellent. We need to do a little bit more work on the youth facilities. Uh, and we, I think we, I think state-of-the-art is next, isn't it? Or is it exceptional after excellent? I can't remember now. But anyway, uh, we'll see. what we'll, 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 We won't stop till we have the best facilities we can. We do need a stadium, though. That is the other sort of pressing, uh, pressing thing that we have. But before we get to today's games, there is one that we need to catch you up on in the league. That was against Lokomotiva just a few days after the Manchester United disappointment. So let's see how we did. We fell behind in the first half. But Akbazli played in Pavasevic to have his level in first half stoppage time. Before Pavasevic turned provider for Kakavenga to put us ahead. Only for Luka Motiva to hit us on the break to draw level. Bozniak put us back in front. And Siraj added a fourth. So a good performance from us, uh, especially well, going forward. It was a good, maybe not so much at the back. It always seemed like a game that we were the more likely team to score, the more likely team to win. Um, you know, the second goal did come on the break, which is not great, obviously. You never want to concede a goal, but... It's not like we were trying, you know, not that we were trying to defend, but you know what I mean? It's not like they broke us down necessarily. Um, although it doesn't matter how you score, does it, I suppose. But 61% uh, possession, I, I 
in my unbiased opinion, think we deserve to win. Ignore XG, it means nothing as we know. So we can see the league table, and we have opened up a four-point gap over Slavin Belupo. So if we were to win today, seven-point gap, eight games to go, it starts to look very, very good, doesn't it? But look at the bottom of the league there. Hazuk split with nine games to go are in the relegation spot. That is just unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. So to Slavin Belupo, and we are expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them. And this is the team that we are sending out, assuming that there's no... Uh, no, it's not the team. We've had an international break, so we're going to have to uh, play around with this. One second. All right, so this is the uh, this is the team. It's going to be Priscilla in goal. Uh, Benesek and Williams will be the back two. Antwi and Della Vabora will go down the wings. Sithol, Bozniak, Palumbo, Skoko, Filip, and Matanovic will be the rest of the team. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. I don't recognize too many names. Uh, if you're wondering why uh, Sithol is playing, despite the fact he's a little uh, tired, that is down to the fact that we've promised him first team football, and uh, as we have with Tosic, but Tosic obviously isn't going to last even close to 90 minutes. Sithol's going to go a fair way into this one. All right, and here we go. Uh, this is going to be last call, I would imagine. Well, actually, we'll wait and see what happens with this game. If we win this one, um, I think then we can just about say, unless something goes remarkably right or wrong, we're going to be in second this season, and we can kind of skip through to the end of the season, so we'll vote on Viewers Player of the Year today. If, it's, uh, if it doesn't go well, then it's going to be still game on, isn't it? And then we'll be, you'll be able to nominate again, so... We'll wait and see the outcome of this game. But I'd like to think with no European football, this is sort of the last time I think that we'll have to worry about not being able to pick our best fit team because of you know international duty and tied players. So I'd like to think that just focusing on the league that we'll be able to, to you know to seal second place uh, anyway. I think this is the last time we play Slavin. We're going into the sort of the last uh, round robin. Uh, home and away stage so uh, last time we'll face them directly so if we can come out even if it is just a four point gap uh, Dynamo will be a tough game for us although I believe we're playing them at home so having beaten them away you'd like to think we could take something off them at home here we go with Sit Holly as a go and it wasn't a mile away was it so yeah we'll see but like I say I, I am I'd be disappointed at this point if we didn't get second, being that that's where we are now that we've got uh, only the league to worry about. Antwi with a cross in. Oh, it's a good one. And it was Matanovic, I think, excuse me, hitting the post. So 20 minutes gone. And it has more or less been all your ruin, but still nil nil. Um. All right, uh, I wonder if... You know what I don't think I've done yet? I keep forgetting to change this back. That's still there from the Manchester United game. That's how on top of the tactics I am. So let's see if that makes a bit of a difference now. Because uh, you know what happens is that I change it in like like I did just then. And then I, I think, oh, well, it's, it's done. And then I forget to go and change it after the game. So, yeah, I'm that much of an idiot. All right, here we go. Palumbo over a free kick. It's always oh, gone himself, and it's hit the post, has it? Or did the goalkeeper get a hand to it? Fill it! Oh, the goalkeeper has gifted Fillet the goal, and it is 1-0. What an error in such a big game as well. And it's arguably... That did hit the post, I think. That's a stunning free kick from Palumbo. It is a bigger game for them than us. They have to win, don't they, really? To get that point uh, gap down to one. And instead, they have gifted us... A seven-point lead. And what an error it is. Philip took his time scoring, and I was <laughs> I was up cheering a goal, and he, he certainly uh, made me wait for it. Here we go with uh, Devella Debora just across. Not a mile away from that far post. Was it actually saved? It was saved. Palumbo now with a corner. Floats one into the back post. It's away. Williams is there. Brings it down nicely. Sit hole! And it is flashed past the post. And it will be a goal kick. So, it looks as though it's going to be 1-0 at half time. We have very much been the better team. Now, Sithole is tied. We do have Jakic on the bench. Uh, that is probably, uh, in all honesty, the, a, a sensible substitution to make. 
Um, given that Sid Hole's been away with South Africa. He did actually as well. Now, you may remember, remember all the way back to when we signed Sid Hole and then the we signed him, you know, say, on the on the Wednesday. The Wednesday night, he was spotted out at all hours in a, at a nightclub and didn't turn up for training the next day. Uh, well, he did that again. He uh, he missed a game. Must have been, well, must have been the Locomotiva game, so it's the only game I've played since the last episode. And... Um, yeah, he didn't turn up. Oh, it's Antwi, and what a way to get your first goal for the club and interrupt the story about Sid Hole as well. And that is going to be another goal of the season contender. We've had a few lately, haven't we? The Philip goal, uh, Bosniak. Uh, we had another stun that I can't remember right now. But look at that. One touch. That's going to be on his left foot. In truth, the goalkeeper's got a lot to answer for. But from the side-on angle, absolutely superb. So yeah, uh, Sid Hole just didn't show up for the Locomotiva game because then he was spotted at the nightclub uh, in the early hours of that morning. And the real kicker is that, oh, why does he pass that ball back? I mean, this is surely going to be a goal because otherwise, yeah, it's the reason you, oh, that's annoying, isn't it? So it's back to 2-1. Um, is he not offside? One of the fullbacks may have played him on. It's like he didn't, he, he didn't want that first one. He wanted this one. Was it the same guy, or was it Fadida that uh, that passed it back when he was through on goal? Either way. Uh, yeah, the, the kicker about Sit Hole is that, of course, we promised him first-team football. He didn't play, uh, and then he complained that, you know, reminding me that he wanted first-team football. It's like, dude, <laughs> that surely can't count against me. You literally didn't show up at a game when you are in the starting lineup. So... Yeah, I, I, I almost wish there was a way to talk to him, at, you know, in that moment that, uh, you know, I can't pick you if you're not there, moron. But anyway, all right, let's take Matenovic off for Turpic, who has been uh, decent from the bench, it has to be said. Skoko can come off for Siraj, and that'll leave us one more sub, or one more stoppage anyway. Uh, let's go, oh, I've given them some praise there. Is that an injury for one of their guys? It looks like it is, okay. Yakic. Next goal could be huge. Siraj to Bosniak. Bosniak to Palumbo to Fillet. 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 Oh, good save from the keeper. Good effort from Fillet. Let's just go back to positive. Please, game. Palumbo to take the corner. It is oh, a little bit too close to the goalkeeper, who in that occasion, it must be said, did well. But if it is... Just a one-goal win for us. Uh, they, they're going to be kicking themselves, gifting Philip that opener, aren't they? Here we go now with Antweet. I think the, he's been the surprise of the season for me. Has, has Oh, it's a good effort for, from Philip. And it's another one in, and it's flashed over the top. Might have been Antweet again. Yeah, I signed him very much as, you know, he might he might develop into either a useful sort of player for us or someone that we, because we got him for peanuts, it was like 20, it was like a she Seamus Coleman fee, I think, like 20 grand or something. Um, or he, are we trying to, it's, all right, I know I've clicked on it, let's, uh, let's go and do this. Um, yeah, he was sort of next to nothing, like, like literally 20 grand or something like that. Uh, and I thought he might develop into something or someone that we can sell on, you know, that sort of that sort of a signing. Uh, and instead, he's... I don't know if he's first... Cho well, he's not first choice, because Hugo Torres is absolutely brilliant. But he's right there, you know. Like, I have absolutely no problem at all picking him to play. And he's been, he's been nothing short of brilliant. So, yeah, I think maybe not signing of the season... But he's, he's definitely been surprised of the season for me, that's for sure. Did I... Uh, no, I didn't do that yet. So let's see if we can hold on to this lead now. Close it down. And we've got Siraj over a free kick. It's uh, not cleared away properly. And it is now, but picked up by Yakic to Antwi. Antwi does uh, not go and take on his man. Williams goes back to Priscilla. Priscilla goes long. It's over the top. It's a little bit too over the top, though. And this is becoming a bit of a long old highlight, unless it's randomly gone to full match highlights. Fill it. Look at the space Antwi's in. He's got Turpich in the middle. He's got Siraj in the middle. Siraj, look at Turpich. Oh, it's a tap in. I think it's onside because it has come off the defender and Gary Turpich off the bench has secured us the game, the three points, and possibly... Champions League football next season as well. Antwi to Siraz. Siraz. Yeah, no, that's fair. He was playing that across goal. He wasn't being selfish. 
And Turpich, he couldn't miss, could he? Even Turpich, and we've seen him miss some good chances. <laughs> but even Turpich couldn't miss that one. So that'll be that. 21 shots, 7 on target. It is a very comprehensive performance from us. And that should just about be that. So I think, that being said, we will need to vote on our viewers' player of the year today. Yeah, 7 point gap, 6 to play, uh, or 8 to play, sorry. 36 game season. It's, uh, it's a nice place to be. Nine points back from Dynamo. They have a game in hand. Could we dare dream of running them down? I think in truth, no, is the, it's the quick answer, isn't it? But, um, you know, we've got absolutely nothing to nothing to worry about. But, well, we do. But, you know, I mean, if, we, if we're in good form, there's no reason why we can't uh, put some pressure on them. So 50, uh, 50, 45 goals Philip has now scored. That's lead goals. What a player he has been. Uh, and I think that's 50 grand. We will happily hand over to Istra if uh, he does indeed get five more. So that was all very nicely done. Next up, it's Oziak. And let's see if we can go and get another six, uh, three points. It would be against them. So unfortunately, Viewers Player of the Year has had to be cancelled for this year, partly down to the fact that uh, I have to edit a little bit early because of, uh, of a day trip that we're doing for my uh, daughter's birthday, and partly because I forgot to screenshot how the stats at the time of uh, or this time of uh, the game, so I have no idea how many goals, assists, whatever uh, match ratings are for the players. So apologies, it'll be back next year, but um, yeah, this year, Viewers Player of the Year will be cancelled. All right, welcome back. Now, the next-gen uh, top 50 has uh, has come out. Now, it's not something I always uh, point out here because, um, you know, it, we, I scout everybody. But, uh, you know, we've not always uh, got anyone to show. But sitting there at number 7 is Tosic, which is very, very nice. But we also have our own tab here because at number 21 is Torres and number 25 is Academy Product Siraj. So three in the top 50 and perhaps, I think, most satisfyingly, is someone that's come through our academy in uh, in Siraj. So well done to uh, to everybody. And uh, yeah, that's huge. That's really exciting. Our first uh, next-gen top 50 player. Now, what is also exciting is potentially what's happening in the league right now. Now, normally I would zoom in a little bit here for you, particularly if you're watching on a phone, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. But Lokomotiva beat Slavin Belupo. So that means that we are now seven points ahead of them with a game in hand here against Oziak, who are currently bottom. Uh, so potentially that gap can go out to just insurmountably, will that be uh, it's 10 points? Seven plus three is 10, isn't it? Very good Aussie villain. Uh, but also at home, Hajduk Split took a point off of Dynamo, which means if we were to beat uh, Oziak, it means they stay bottom. But also, eight-point gap with a game against Dynamo to come, which could potentially make that a five-point gap. We saw it a couple of seasons ago, didn't we, where Dynamo went on and did this incredible choke to allow us to nick, I think it was our second title, wasn't it? It couldn't happen again, could it? Surely. But uh, we've got to take care of our own business here first up, and that means beating Oziak. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 formation out of them. And this is a team that we are sending out. It is Priscilla in goal, Tosic and Williams as the back two, Torres and Della Vabora at the back, Sithol, Bosnia, Kakavenga, Skoko, Fillet, and Matenovic will be the rest of the team. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Now we uh, John Nguyenia. We may remember him. We sold him to Oziak because he was a flop uh, sitting on their bench. I think we had a 50% sell on. So the fact he's on their bench uh, suggests that maybe we're not going to get it. <laughs> too much out of that sell-on, but that's okay. We got what we needed uh, in the 100 grand of that deal. Uh, pick up we left off last time. Um, I never particularly liked that. Let's, uh, home form's important to us. Let's go with that. Uh, yeah. And see what we can do. We've somehow managed to demotivate players there. And yeah, here we go. So uh, yeah, well, we'll wait and see, won't we? Obviously, uh, don't forget to go and vote for your viewers player of the year. <clears throat> but... Yeah, there is a chance we might uh, we might be back earlier yet. Now, I think we played Dynamo third last game of the season. So if there is any chance, then that would be it. I mean, let's let's not kid ourselves. It's still a very big gap. Even if we were to win here, eight points is still big. Uh, it would mean we would have to beat them. But they're still going to have to, you know, drop two or three other games as well. And there's not that many left. I think the, the main hope of anything happening is the fact that they did it, you know, three or four seasons ago. So maybe there's a chance they could do it again. But uh, it is, in all likelihood, unlikely. But you've got to you've got to give us a chance, don't you? Otherwise, what's the point? But I think if we could uh, if we could get the the win here, what it does do is it does mean that we've got second wrapped up. And uh, yeah, we've really got to make sure just nail ourselves in as best of the rest, best of the rest every season, and then 
you'd like to think once every now and again we'd be able to come through the qualifiers to get into that Champions League league phase. Uh, but if not, then it makes it a lot easier for us to get into the Europa League or worse than that, obviously, the um, the the Conference League. But um, just a little bit worried about that. But Priscilla with some good hands. What do we think of Priscilla? I mean, obviously, we at some point will need to upgrade him. I am kind of, I, you know, I still haven't done it. I still have not changed that. There we go. Um, I'm off the sort of the thought process of, I, I'm, oh, I thought that was going in. Was that Kakavenga? I'm sort of at the thought process of, I'm not actively looking for a goalkeeper. I think I do have a, maybe still have a, a goalkeeper search out, actually. I don't know if I, that got stopped if it was for only a month or so but anyway um but I'm not desperate to sign a goalkeeper I don't think but of all the positions of all the players that we've got, had come through as well we've had so, a lot of strikers we've got a lot of center backs we've got a few goalkeepers that are potentially you know three three and a half star but you know but you don't want to what I don't want to do is say oh well, we'll keep Priscilla till one of them come through because there is obviously a chance that that they won't. And the thing with goalkeepers is that it's very difficult to find them game time. Um, because obviously you can only have one per game. And unless we can find quite a few affiliates at decent levels that we can send each one out to, we're always going to struggle to, to do that. So Torres to Skoko. Skoko with a good first touch. It was just behind him the pass, wasn't it? But the first touch got it uh, back where he needed it. And the second touch was in the back of the net. So there is the lead. Tor Philip to Torres. Torres to Skoko. Watch this. It was just behind him. And that touch is brilliant. Gets it out of his feet. And a good finish across the goalkeeper as well. To give us, ultimately, a well-earned lead, I think. We'll give them some praise. And, uh, yeah, now it is really just a case of defending properly. We've had 60% possession. And hopefully now that i fix those tactics up. I wonder how long it's going to take. Let me know in the comments. How long is it going to take for me to remember to do that at the end of a game? It's all oh, Skoko. If Skoko's having a good day, then we're very, very difficult to beat, aren't we? And he appears to be on form today. Torres with a throw there for Bosniak. Back to Torres. Skoko. Skoko across for De Bora. And it's saved onto the post, I think. For Bora has another chance and just kind of runs into trouble. Tosic should pick that up. And is that going to be the highlight or are we going to continue? Looks like we're going to continue. Skoko to Fillet. Nice run from Fillet. Oh, and just couldn't. Just couldn't tuck it inside the far post. Kakavenga's off form, isn't he? He's only playing a 6.5. And we see that from time to time for him as well. But we've 14 shots, only four on target. Ultimately, we have the lead, which is what we want. But... <laughs> <laughs> the the improvement in XG when I fix those tactics is uh, quite something, isn't it? All right, so I think we've got to say don't get complacent. Uh, we are doing okay. We're creating lots of chances. We just need to, uh, to start tucking them away a little bit better. But, of course, the risk is always, and they've changed formation there, so we're going to have to tweak things because they've got two strikers now. Okay, so I think what we'll do, we'll take Sithole off. Uh, he's on a booking anyway, and we'll bring the young uh, schoolie bar on and uh, give him a bit of game time here. Yakic is the sensible thing to do, but I'm not that sensible, am I? Can we get that away, please? And thank you. Scrappy, but it's, it's going the direction we want it to go in. Ball back in. Priscilla gets there first. Well done, son. Uh, I've got to say, Kakavenga, who's on the bench? Renoki at Palumbo. So Palumbo can come on for him. That's absolutely fine. Oh, Vela Devora gives it away. Kakavenga trying to win it back. Oh dear, this is uh, perhaps trouble. It is blocked behind by Tosic. All right, let's give it a focus. Let's maybe just go back to positive as well. And here we go now with Palumbo to Skoko. Skoko across there for Fillet. Fillet! Oh, it's inside of the post! We hit the woodwork so many times. Obviously, the games off camera, you don't see the, 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 the non-goals. But we're hitting the woodwork three, four times a game, it feels like. Skoko 
Back across in front of goal, and is that a save? It is, it's a corner. So the goalkeeper is keeping them in it, really, isn't he? Palumbo now. Again, it's to the back post, and it's Matanovic's 17th of the season. And that is 2-0, and hopefully that's a little bit, of, uh, little bit of free air now. And we can go on with this. Philip not having a great game. We do have Akbarsley on the bench, who is a similar sort of player. Uh, we'll praise them, and we'll just see, what are we, 50-odd minutes in? Uh, I've, only, I've made two subs. That was the same stoppage, though, I think, wasn't it, or was it not? Can tell me what minute they came on? Let's make that change anyway. And we'll just see. Can we make another one? Yes, we can. So it was the same uh, stoppage. 21 shots, two goals. Oh, it's uh, gone through Skoko and then hacked away. Torres has it coming forward to Williams. Back to Torres. Torres in the middle for Skoko. His seventh of the season. And it is 3-0. That will be that. It is Champions League football surely coming back to Jeroen now. And, well, just a warning across Dinamo's bow, isn't it? We are still here. We are still winning. We're still scoring for fun. Hope you don't get nervous. We've got some defending to do. And that is a way. And that will end that particular highlight. Tossage on a booking. Uh, we could bring St. Iago or someone on for him. Uh, we're kind of beyond the uh, match rating point, though. So we'll just leave it. And Torres now with a throw. Ten minutes to play. Uh, Bosley to Williams. To Bosniak. Bosniak to Palumbo. It's nice. It's Matanovic. It's kind of lost its flow. It's back for Matanovic. Matanovic has another one. Or does he? It looked okay, didn't it? Maybe Matenovic is just off. VAR will check it. VAR has given it. So Matenovic has a double. That was really nicely done to get around the defender there, wasn't it? And, oh yeah, he's comfortably on. Apparently Dinamo is uh, running the VAR today. Yeah, you know, we'll just check it. Just make sure. It's not even, it's not even close. So, yeah. I mean, they've looked worse since they went to that formation, haven't they? If anything, and they've just made it easier for us. And it's nice to see the kid coming off the bench, playing a 7.0, and uh, yeah, looking fairly comfortable. Bosniak. Torres to Skoko. Skoko looking for Akbazli. Can't quite get his body in the way. And they come back the other the other way now to Zosiak. But at 4-0, this one is uh, essentially done. They're just trying to save goal difference, really, aren't they? And it's look... Oh, I tell you what, there's a goal. Um, it's looking as though... I mean, it could well be one of Oziak or Hajduk's split that go down. And this time last year, correct me if I'm wrong, we were trying to beat both of them to a Champions League spot and second in the league, were we not? Priscilla may be just wrong-footed. It was taken very, very early. And you see things like that and you think, yeah, maybe we do need to upgrade on uh, on Priscilla sooner rather than later. He's not really going to improve anymore. He's 26. Uh, he signed as a backup. So the good thing about that is obviously if we do find somebody better, he'll be more than happy just to just stay and be the backup. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty good result, isn't it? They scored a bit of a worldie from nowhere. But was it a double from Atanovic, double from Skoko, wasn't it? Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. So 10 points is the gap now back to Slaven with the seven games to go. We'd be disappointed to throw that away, wouldn't we? But eight points. We are now closer to Dynamo than we are to Slaven. Can we can we go and get them for the title? So oh this guy that's one of our old right backs as well. So uh, there's a couple there were a couple of guys in their uh, starting lineup that were once uh, once of our parish. But uh yeah, I mean the goal difference is still slightly in Dynamo's favor, but as we've seen goal difference doesn't matter. It's head to head. And, well, I'm not sure what the head-to-head -head is, but uh, we'll check that if it's going to come down to being anything meaningful. So, guys, that is that. If you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. Uh, I'll just kind of move myself here so you can see the fixtures. We'll get all of myself all the way out of the way there. Uh, so, we've got Dynamo, three games to go at home. If there's a chance that, that you know, beating Dynamo, playing and beating Dynamo is going to put the league title, uh, you know, well and truly back on the on the, uh, on the the 
front burner. I don't know what the word is. Uh, then we'll come back for that. If not, then we'll just come back for the final game of the season against Lokomotiva. So don't forget to go and vote for your viewers player of the year just in case. But there's still a chance. There's still a chance. It needs Dynamo to stuff up, but uh, there's a chance. Take care.